Zee, good morning. What do we know so far? I mean, you really laid out the the, the facts. Um, this was not a confirmed breach. It's, uh, they do say that there was an attempted breach, but can I tell you something that I saw last week here in the States? There is an influencer, the Wall Street Journal recently did a piece on her about how she's monetized. Uh, she's done so well monetizing her social media that she's able to fund her own trips on the campaign trail following several of, um, following Kennedy, following Donald Trump. And last week, she said on her Instagram that she had access to the Princess of Wales's medical records because of an employee at this hospital. And she had been an individual that had been kind of peddling some of these conspiracy theories. So she formally apologized to the Princess of Wales on her Instagram because of what she said she saw and heard from this employee at this hospital. Um, now she's gone private over the last few hours since I've made mention of this online, that I think it's suspicious that she has been telling people to her 1 million followers that she said that she had these access to these medical records. Um, she's gone dark on social media and has gone private. But, uh, you know, I cl clearly I think that these two stories are related. Um, I'm sure, although I'm sure that there are could be multiple people trying to access this poor woman's think, medical <clears throat> records. This is exactly what we were concerned about. We had Sarah Houston on <coughs> Kinsey in the first hour, and she made a really good point, which is, uh, I don't know what happens over there, but uh, on this side, it doesn't matter who you are. You could be the richest and most famous person in the world. You could be a top celebrity, member of the royal family, whatever. That is privacy, and there's a bigger issue here. Of course, it all plays in to this drama, this, this circus at the moment that surrounds Kate. I, I think it verges on bullying. I said that yesterday. I understand the mistakes that Kensington Palace, but this just... Again this morning, brings it back, brings it back, brings it back. She was in hospital three weeks ago. Why are we only hearing this now? Are there people involved? No newspaper, as Nick said, in this country is going to deal with anything like that or print it, so maybe it is online. But have we not reached a point seriously, right? Whatever the whys and wherefores, whether Kensington Palace was wrong, whether she was wrong to put... She's obviously had something wrong with her. Anybody and everybody can see that, right? You intimated then that the woman saw that it was maybe something serious, whether she saw it or not. Enough now. I mean, there are people in this country, right? Yesterday, there's a picture on the front going, that's not her. Somebody on the BBC, our state broadcaster, for God's sake. I, I, don't, I don't get it. I mean, I do, but I don't. Well, I, we unfortunately aren't in a position to control the online chaos, uh, but it, at this point it has jeopardized her safety. And yeah. uh, I think that that's where we have got to say that this is, we've got to reject it. Stop watching it. Stop commenting on it. Stop engaging in it. Stop sharing it. You've got to stop sharing this stuff because you give it power. You give it steam. Everybody that's sending it to me, I don't want it. I don't watch it because you're giving it steam and you're giving these people credibility and you're elevating them. And what they're doing is they're putting this, wo this poor woman, they're putting her safety at risk and certainly her privacy. They're throwing it out the window and that's very unfair. Kinsey, do you think that following this scandal there might be calls for further regulation on what can and can't be said online obviously you know we're beholden to, to certain regulations here uh, there's reporting restrictions etc a lot of that is to do with people's privacy and their safety but online it's kind of a wild west out there and i feel that this is the first time that the palace have really reacted to speculation that has been happening online which means they've kind of opened themselves up to reacting again to it in the future, because there's that kind of expectation now, isn't there? Despite the fact that these mm. rumours are unsubstantiated. Absolutely, because now social media users feel like they can dictate the palace's actions exactly. going forward because they, they've dipped their toe in, they got to win, and now they're going to see how much they push it. You know, the mystery that surrounds the British royal family, it's a blessing and a curse because that's what makes them so magical. But at the same time, people can say whatever they want about these people on the internet. And, and typically they don't come out fighting and they don't come out to defend themselves because it's important that never complain, never explain has been 
so important to them. Um, but I can I think jump in. I think that's changed to a degree because I think the modern monarchy, the slim down monarchy, wants and needs to embrace a younger generation to, to maybe sustain a, a generation who doesn't perhaps agree with it as much. I'm a fervent royalist. I'll tell you what I've always thought, hand on heart, both of you, I think big tech companies who make billions of pounds left, right and centre across the pond and air, I think they should be brought to task. Not just about this, but about so many things. This is just another example. These companies allow vile, vile things that really affect people's lives and get away with it. And I think, I think it's a really good point. And maybe that's the good that will come out. Final thing, though, very, very quickly. Um, fingers crossed. She'll keep her head down now. And after Easter, Kate will return, because for me, she is the future of the monarchy. No, I agree. Uh, we do. I do expect to see her Easter weekend with the family. Uh, but then you have to be realistic. She's going to take a break along with the Prince of Wales. They're going to take a break until after April 17th because they want to spend holiday with their children. And good God, these two deserve that. Absolutely. And I wonder if, you know, obviously TikTok has come under fire in America, certainly questions over here as well about who owns it. Is it Chinese state media? Could there be too much influence over there? This really has destabilised the UK and destabilised the monarchy. And I want, you, you've got to ask questions of who is in charge of companies like TikTok. Completely agree. And could there be ulterior motives for Completely. peddling kind of conspiracy theories about there will always be sad our idiots. heads of state? There, there will always be sad idiots who sit at home because they've got no life and no friends peddling terrible, terrible things. But it's gone to a different level and maybe now is the time. Kinsey, as ever, thank you so, so much. Love having you on.